Hey, what's up guys, it's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 4 of Fatal Not Informs Wants to Watch. And in the previous episode, we managed to collect 170k, which is the highest amount we've gotten so far in this series. And uh, that means we're able to uh, to add some cool players to the side. So the options I gave you in the previous episode were Pepe and Alaba, which cost 155k. And pair two were Alaba again and Matuidi, which cost 152k. And pair one was the winner. So that means we're going to be adding those two players to the side. And you can see that Pepe is on low chemistry. So my aim for this episode is most likely to get him on full chemistry. Or maybe do something else. I'm not too sure yet. But anyway, we're going to go. It will be the first game of the episode. And uh, we do come up against a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. Which is probably like one of the most competitive uh, formations in the game. And uh, he has a Serie A side. So I thought this was going to be a good player. And happened to be a really decent player as well. But uh, straight from kickoff. I just managed to run through like it's nothing and actually score already with our fatal player Di Maria. So a really, really easy 30k for us already at the start of the game. And uh, it was a decent looking skill goal, I think, as well. Then 18th minute, Di Maria again on the ball. A great skill move there to a sombrero flick. I hoped, I hoped that I could go for a volley. Kind of messed it up then. And we picked it up here with Sanchez. I was thinking of playing it back to Di Maria. Took the shot with him instead and um, got deflected by his defender. Then uh, we move it in the second half in the 52nd minute. It's my opponent on the ball. He takes one of his first shots in the game and he hits the target really, really nicely with Niyang. And now uh, we go down 20k. So 1-1 um, it was. Then a 54th minute, a few minutes later, he, he goes through here. Really nice pass there to his uh, attacker, but Pepe intercept. Then a terrible kick from my goalkeeper, which I, in my opinion, is not really the greatest goalkeeper in the game. He has made quite a few mistakes. And also with this goal, I felt... It was definitely his fault. So, um, yeah, we actually go down 2-1. And we go down actually minus 10k, which is not really the greatest way to uh, go into this game, really. So, um, yeah, straight from kickoff, we set a lot of pressure. We get a chance here with Lacazette after we actually uh, lose the ball with Ben Arfa. Then uh, we do pick up a corner, which get cleared away by one of his defenders. Uh, we pick it up here with our right back, Malqui. We play it on through to Lacazette, who was free, turns around. And then a brilliant finesse shot, which actually goes in this time. I tried it before. Uh, before we actually got that corner, but uh, this one went in really nicely. So uh, plus 10k, and you can see it was all even again. And my opponent actually did get some chances, you can see from these highlights. Then he picked up a corner, he decided to play it on short. We set a lot of pressure with Sanchez. And then I took a look at the radar, and you can see there were so many players of mine free. I had a lot of options, and the one thing I just pretty much did was just run through with Lacazette, a bit of LTRT to get past the defender, and I shoot a cross goal into the far corner. I could have pl uh, played it across to Douglas Costa, but I was afraid he was going to be offside, so um, yeah, I went on my own with Lacazette, and um, yeah, he scored a great goal to give us a lead again in the game. The 67th minute, again a big chance here, this time with Bernardo. I could have run through, I think. But I took the shot a bit too early, which the goalkeeper saved. Then an the 82nd minute, a header here from Di Maria from almost the edge of the box. Just went wide, so a lot of chances for us. Then 84th minute, a free kick. He decided to put a play on the line. That's sort of a tactic in mind. One I actually used a lot in FIFA 16. Um, my aim was to pass it off to Sanchez. We picked it out with Di Maria. The goalkeeper saved and also the rebound wasn't really that amazing. Then the 90th minute we go in extra time. You can see on the right hand side there was a lot of space. So I ran through there with Sanchez. We crossed it in to the penalty spot or almost to the penalty spot to Ben Arfa. And uh, he added it on goal and makes it 4-2. And actually brings the coin total to 50k. And that is also how the game ended. And uh, you can see we actually had three players who got a 9.4 rating, and I think uh, Sanchez actually got the man of the match. I can see stats-wise, my opponent had a bit more possession, but we completely dominated chances-wise, so um, yeah, it was a well-deserved win for us. I think also a really, really exciting game to watch, I think, and definitely to play. But uh, right now, you can see we got 50k after one game, which is a great start, I have to say, uh, compared to the previous episodes, where the start wasn't really that great. But uh, anyway, going will be the final game. Again, we come up against a Serie A side, this time in the 4-2-3-1 formation. And we start things off with a free kick on the left-hand side of the pitch, somewhat in the corner. Uh, we stepped up with Douglas Costa, and my idea was to take it with the outside of his foot, aiming for the near post, but kind of messed it up. Then from that, from the rebound, we do have it in here with uh, Ben Arfa. Obviously, it wasn't my aim, but um, took a quick cross there to Ben Arfa. I was completely free. Heads it in near post and uh, makes it 1 0. So, uh, also in this game, a really, really quick goal and a great way to start off this game. Then, uh, immediately from kickoff, we set a lot of pressure again. We go in the attack again with Ben Arfa. We took a finesse shot for the far corner. A great save there from his keeper. 
And after that, we just continue on creating a lot of chances. Here is how with Douglas Costa. We lose the ball. Pick it up here with Di Maria again. Go with some skill moves. Uh, trying to beat one more defender, which I managed to do. Then we get a terrible shot in. It almost looked like a pass. That's how bad it was. And um, yeah, an easy save for the keeper. But uh, that definitely should have been a 2-0. So my aim was just to make the 2-0 quickly. And it actually uh, happened to be a really quick 2-0, as you can see. Again, Lacazette with a brilliant finesse shot. Just like in the previous game, making it 2-0. And uh, bring the coin total to 40k. Then a few minutes later after that, we were about to go on the attack again. My opponent decided to press start. As you can see it coming, he decided to rage quit. And this actually happened to be the third rage quit in the Fatal Series already, in a row as well. And happens to be the second 100k rage quit, or at least the, fir the second uh, first half rage quit. So uh, that means we get 100k, which is just amazing. And um, yeah, that brings the coin total to 190k, which is a lot of coins to spend. And it is just a perfect amount because there was one player I really wanted to bring into this team. And that is the defender, Sergio Ramos. Uh, for the goalkeeper, we do have Moya because obviously Ramos needs a strong link. was thinking of Navas, but a lot of people say he's really bad. And then for pair two, we have uh, Matuidi again and Inform Pereira from uh, Nice, which looks like a really solid uh, right back as well. So uh, let me know in the comments down below which pair I should go with. Pair 1, Ramos and Moya, or Pair 2, Inform, Pereira and Matuidi. And as always, I will leave two comments in the comments down below, which you can vote on. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.